Hi guys. Now you are going to learn about Milliman's theorem. Okay. So Milliman's theorem states that in any network of n number of voltage sources with internal resistances R1, R2, R3, so on, Rn are in parallel, then these sources may be replaced with a single voltage source in series with resistance. Single voltage source in series with resistance. Let consider that single voltage source as Vm is in series with single resistance R. Okay. Now I will explain this Milliman's theorem by considering this network. See, let us say this one is V1, V1, which is having internal resistance R1 like this. Now, consider another voltage source which is having an internal resistance R2 like this. Like that, there are n number of voltage sources, let us say Vn, which is having an internal resistance R1. Okay, now the thing is all these voltage sources are replaced with a single voltage source with a single voltage source Vm in series with resistance Rm like this. Okay, this is Milliman's theorem. So now, what about Vm? How can we find Vm? Vm is equal to V1 into 1 by R1 plus V2 into 1 by R2 plus V3 into 1 by R3 plus like that, so on. Vn into 1 by Rn. 1 by Rn. Whole by, whole by 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus so on plus 1 by Rn. So this is the millimens voltage. So now, what is R? In general, what is resistance? Resistance is the property of material which opposes the flow of electrons. Opposing resistance in the sense opposing the flow of electrons. What is the inverse of resistance? Inverse of resistance is allowing or which accepts the flow of electrons that is called conductance represented with the letter G. Conductance is the property of material which allows the flow of electrons. Okay. Now, we can write Vm as V1 into G1 plus V2 into G2 plus so on plus Vn into Gn whole by V1 plus G2 plus so on plus G. Similarly, Rm is given by that is the series resistance Rm is given by 1 by G1 plus G2 plus so on plus Gn. Okay. So, if you have uh, current sources in the network, then the Milliman's theorem is uh, similar to that of uh, voltage sources. Okay. So, which is having n current sources having internal conductance, they are replaced by a single current source, single current source in parallel with conductance. In parallel with conduct. Let us consider a current source like this. Okay. So, to which conductance is
let us say G1. This is current source I1. And next, this is a current source I2 having internal conductance G2 like that. And next, so on. IN current source having internal conductance is GN. Okay. Now, all these current sources with internal conductances are replaced by a replaced by a single current source. Single current source. Let us say that single current source as IM replaced with a conductance in parallel to that source. Conductance is G M. Okay. Now, what about I M? I M is equal to I1 R1 plus I2 R2 plus so on plus I N R N whole by R1 plus R2 plus so on plus Rn. This is Im. And Gm is equal to 1 by R1 plus R2 plus so on plus Rn. Okay. So this is Gm. This is about Milliman's theorem. Thank you.